okay here I'm going to implement the login routes uh, app dot app dot post before using post I want to body pass uh, uh, library here package here so in the body parser here and uh, right now uh, we can implement the login route here at the post api slash login slash login uh, the callback function here request response oh um, response now i'm going to check whether this login routes works and the body parser passed the body data correctly uh, so i'm going to console look here console dot log data rec data let's see rec dot body dot password body dot email okay I'm going to save this for our save all files and I'm going to run this server again uh, I should copy this and paste this in here before the before this part and run the server again and I should save this now everything is fine this login route is a post route so um, it's a post request so uh, I'm going to use the postman here here is the postman application so I'm going to use it uh, to send a post request uh, so it should be a post request Oh, it should be a post request and the port is 8080 8080 uh, API here is a uh, API login uh, and I'm going to give it a body um, user name and password uh, And username uh, it's not uh, username it's email then I'm going to send this post request um, let's give it a try it gives an error Oh, I have done a simple mistake here. I should include the backslash there. Then save, save files and run again the server. Okay, then we are going to try this uh, post request. Let's give it a try. Here we go. We got the data here. We console log the password and email, so we get this. Uh, we get the password. We get the email. In real world application, if the login routes, if the login routes get the user's username, email, or password, it will go through the database and check whether this user exists and the provided credentials are matching but in this simple application I'm not going to implement a database 
because my intention is give you an idea about JWT here not about implementing database or any kind of other stuff so I am going to create a mock user array instead of a database and then I am going to filter the given user uh, the past user here uh, from this array let's see what I am talking about so first of all I am going to implement a users array uh, so this is what I call the mock users const users here is the array uh, it can uh, consist three users then in the login routes here I'm going to filter the user that come from the request let's see uh, users filter uh, user I'm going to filter the user uh, if user dot oh, email is uh, is equal request dot body dot email and if user dot password girl request dot body dot password by this way I am filtering the particular user remember that in real world application this is done by database but in this application I am not going to implement a database so that's why I am implement a, a mock user array and a filter like this uh, let's uh, check whether this is working or not console log user And okay, here I got the uh, user in this array by uh, giving the password and email. Uh, so our logic is correct. Now, according to this diagram. Uh, we send the credential to get the JWT. Uh, we didn't implement the React app yet. Uh, we will implement uh, it later. Uh, but now the server should sign in the payload header and secret, then create a JWT for us. Let's see how to implement that. Okay, let's implement uh, here uh, JWT dot sign jwt.sign uh, what the heck is this uh, jwt sign function now this uh, jwt sign function is going to do this signing this signing task first it get the header payload and secret header payload and secret and it will uh, create the signature and secondly uh, this header payload and signature will create the JWT uh, this task is done by this JWT sign function uh, but there is something special to remember uh, remember when uh, when we consider this uh, JWT's header uh, header part it consists of algorithm and the token type uh, these things are all the same we are really going to change that if we want to change the algorithm we can do that but we usually doesn't change this so uh, we don't pass header header part as a parameter to this JWT sign method 